Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here, and this is my weekly Scrap Backwards page. And the best thing I can say about this page right up front is it's not gonna be monochrome. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not gonna be monochrome. Someone on my YouTube channel reminded me of um, a technique I had used when I used the brush to rub the circles of distress oxide. She said it reminded her of when I did the um, uh, bleeding tissue paper. And I have the bleeding tissue paper kind of close to my desk out where I can see it. So I don't know why I don't use it any more often. It's a little bit um, messy and, and unpredictable. So maybe that's, maybe that's it. Um, this is the sketch I'm using. It's one of the weekly sketches in the uh, Scrap a Sketch uh, Facebook group. And it's very simple. I think in, in her drawing, she's got four um, strips of uh, film strip. And my photo is um, vertical. It, it's portrait. So I made, I think, five or maybe even six of these. And I cut them out of scraps that are in my um, big scrap bag that I carry from one uh, kit to another. And this is a wood grain that had a blue paper on the other side and I have no idea where it came from. So I can't help you with that. Um, this uh, multicolor stripe is a uh, is the purple posies paper. I was gonna cut the purple side of it, but I decided at the last minute to go with the multicolor stripe. It's from uh, Really Rainbow by um, Doodlebug. And then this, I believe, is from the paper pad for uh, Fernwood. This is um, a, a journaling card. If I'd been really good about this, I could have gotten two cut out of it. Uh, this is a four by six journaling card that's part of the color study uh, collection. And this is a, a Chamel paper. I forget the collection. So those are the, I have no idea what order I'm gonna lay those down. Uh, they were cut with this die from uh, Bramble Fox, and it's one of my favorite and most used dies, even though I have purchased nearly all of the acetate, different colors of the acetate um, uh, <clears throat> uh, film strips from 49 and Market. So if you'll notice on the sketch, there's a little bit of, of mixed media in the background. I'm going to use my um, bleeding tissue paper. And, and just to, for those of you who haven't seen me use it before or heard my explanations of it, it's a special type of tissue paper, regular tissue paper will not work. It will only produce frustration and it'll cause you to exercise your vocabulary of expletives um, if you try it. Uh, I have bought it in big sheets, and I'll show you those like this. And uh, I can die cut or punch uh, these into any shape I want, or just tear them into general shapes if I don't care what the shape of the color is on my paper, and I don't. But the very first form that I saw it in, I used it, it was when Christina Sword uh, taught a redefined creative class. It was one of her uh, Palooza um, classes, Layout Palooza, I think. 
and I was just immediately sold and fascinated with the effects that it did. So I ordered it in the circles, the pre-cut circles, and I think those are still available. I bought mine from Amazon, um, but then I bought the big sheets for maybe trying some other things and I haven't been as good about uh, trying that as uh, ever, as, as I should be. So I've, I've separated kind of warm colors from cool colors here. And I'm gonna do the warm colors kind of up in this area and the cool colors here. And if um, memory serves, there's a fair amount of, um, of bleeding or, you know, and, and dripping that goes along with all of this, all kind of depending on the amount of water you add. And I'm gonna overlap these and you can kind of see what's going on there. So I've got those kind of started and then I'll pick them up. There'll be some more um, bleeding going on. Oops. I don't want to leave a gap. So I'm going to do that. And it looks like those warm colors are really bleeding nicely. I love that. Love, love, love it. So now I have to pick them up. And I'm just going to put them in my little trash can, even though I know I'm going to have to work on the trash can later. I'll just pick these up, kind of move some of the colors around if I want to get a little action going on the edges there. The yellow kind of typically doesn't leave a lot of color, but it's enough to contrast with the other colors around it. And see, some of these colors are gonna show through the holes in the film strips, which is gonna be really kind of cool. I'm gonna bring a little bit of this uh, lime green kind of over the other side. I love that teal and the darker teal and then the pretty blue and it didn't get as wet as the others. It's got a little, a little bit of purple to it. So I'm gonna kinda do a little of that. Now, this is Vicki Booten um, Foundations paper, so it's warp resistant, but it's not warp proof, and it will warp if I don't get this somewhat dried up a bit. And it's going to kind of take the, some of the color away, which was expected. Um, I don't, it's not going to be, um, it's not meant to be the focal point of the page, just kind of the underpinnings to the, um, the photo and the film strips. And if you're doubting the, um, these film strips, this collection of film strips, I'm right there with you. I have no idea whether I'm gonna like that or not when the page is all done. But I cut what I cut. Let's say that the green one wants to go down here because it's down here by these cool colors. And let's say I can do this black and white at a slight angle. Um, I'm gonna do this. And I'll do this. And this and this. Kind of put them in that order, but I'm gonna put them a little bit more overlapping and I'm just gonna start gluing them down and I'll figure out the placement as I go along. I'm gonna put this one
I don't want them absolutely f just glued flat on here. But I also, I want a little bit of, you know, curling going on. I'm gonna put this one at a little different angle and move it a little more that way. And I'm sure if Lisa is watching, she's gasping because I'm, again, kind of, um, taking great liberties with her lovely sketch. She tells me she doesn't mind, but you know, if she has any pride of ownership at all, she probably gets a little bit nervous when I do stuff like this. Okay, let me get a little bit of glue on there because I want that to go down. It would be nice, wouldn't it, though, if I inserted the photo, if I left some, at least something like that. Let me think about that. <laughs> this one's going to go a little bit more over that way. And I'll put most of the glue down the other side so that if I want to bring the photo in and overlap it a little bit with this, I can do that. And the photo is of my granddaughter, Ava, who is notoriously camera shy and has been through some, <laughs> been through stuff, most of you, are very familiar with her uh, cancer journey. And I, my son took this photo of her and I'm assuming with her permission. And it just absolutely, this was at the Astros game that we went to to celebrate John's birthday uh, back um, the, about about a month ago, almost exactly a month ago. And then I'm gonna put this down here and move it over that way. And so my pattern for putting these things down was to do a fairly solid pattern with a busier pattern, kind of alternating those. I'm gonna stick this in there like that. I'm gonna put a little glue on here because the paper's still a little bit wet and my double-sided tape won't fit. And I'm gonna put it at an angle. And I have some flare and a whole box of ephemera that matches nothing. So I'm going to look for, well, first of all, let me get my um, sticker sheet. I have lots of little colorful dots on my sticker sheet. This is a sticker sheet. This is um, the Carpe Diem by Simple Stories. And I'll put these out and about. in here. I'm not really trying to match any colors or do anything special with this. Just provide some accents. And let's see. Is there anything else here? Well, I kind of like this that says thankful and grateful. 
And I don't know if Ava is, but her grandmother sure is. Um, and her dad sure is, and her mom sure is. Um, everyone who knows her is. Thankful and grateful that um, the treatments have rendered her cancer free. I'm going to put a teal flare underneath here. I like this seize the day sentiment and I could make that my title. Why don't I just do that? Whoops, I've lost my sticker sheet. And I can overlay it on the, between the green and the black so that I can see both of those uh, film strips. I really love how the, the colors came out. And I have some stamps I may want to use. I'm going to put that right there, kind of at a different angle from either of the um, film strips. Uh, let's see. I don't think I want, well, I, I do love this polka dotted pencil and you just can't resist a polka dotted pencil, right? And I think if it went right here, that would give me a, a nice grouping. And I, if I wanna add some flowers or something under that, I can. I also have this one, which has this, which I had thought about using as my title, because it's multicolored, and it says today, and, and this is her today, as opposed to the very frightening um, photos that were out there at one time where she had lost 75% of her body weight. And she frequently jokes now that she wishes she could lose weight that easily. Don't we all, but without going through, you know, cancer. And I'm just gonna Put that there, and I'll overlap that right there, and put a little bit of glue under it to stick it, because it's kind of down there at an angle. I was in a class today, and the simplest thing in the world, I uh, see I'm using my tweezers, and then I'm gonna have to spend some time, some quality time with my tweezers, uh, cleaning the glue off the tips of them. Um, and why not use a Q-tip, right? Um, Celes Gonzalo, who was teaching the uh, an amazing class today, making a, a mini book. Let's see, I'm gonna use a different, that, I don't wanna use the teal one up there I can put a teal one maybe up as part of that, but I don't want to use a teal one here because it would get lost on that um, film strip. I'm going to trim a little tiny bit of that off. 
I'm not, I've, I've been really, really busy today while I was watching the class. I, I didn't, I hadn't done the homework. I, last week, life got ahead of me and I didn't take the time to print it all out and go through it and, and get it done. So I decided that rather than skip the class and just watch the replay, I thought I'd watch the class and see what they're making so then I could kind of decide what, it's, it's the first time I've taken a Pink Fresh um, Create and Connect class, and it's the first time anybody has worked with the collections that we had. So I didn't know the collections, didn't really know the, um, the products and wasn't, you know, didn't, wasn't absolutely sure just from what I saw, what the projects were gonna be like. So I was just really pleasantly surprised and very impressed. I loved all the projects and intend to make them all. The one that Celeste did was a small uh, mini book that you make with um, the part of the class materials included a set of dies that you can make this mini book from. I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. Okay, so I'm going to skip the today, but that's a big um, one that I definitely want to use. I like this one that says, love this life, but I'm going to put it aside for now. And I'm going to look through the ephemera. There's, there are a couple of flowers I made for um, another project out of uh, some doodle bug flowers that came in a mind the scrap kit. So I thought a big old flower right there would be good. I have, oop, I have some more flowers, so why not one right here by the title? And I'll put that one up on some fairly tall foam. We were discussing today the whether the foam someone had used for a shaker pocket was uh, tall enough or not. And I thought that was funny. But this is tall foam and that works for that. Um, I've been trying to use these hearts and they would work there, but I don't think they're necessary. So I think I'm gonna skip those. I'm gonna put, just put those back in there. Um, I have a few miscellaneous things. It, since I'm going with that kind of doodle bug style of flower, I have another one right here. And there are probably several, several others. I'm just going to dump them out on the table which is gonna make everything easier for me to see. And the reason I wanna see is because I wanna get ideas before. And I kind of like, well, I don't really want those in a line, so I'm gonna go here with that one. And there's an, another little one that's like that that's not worth putting up on foam so i'll kind of put it here and 
Here's another one. Ooh, here's a, a little arrow that says, wow. And this is a um, cut, cut out from the digital uh, collection of uh, Let's Wander. And let's see, I have a little camera here and let me get my better scissors. I'm gonna fussy cut it. It's on a tiny tag. And I don't think I will use the tag as much as you know as it's configured but I will use this um, camera and I'm kind of let me get this the glue over here I'm putting it there. Thankful and grateful could also apply to um, how I, how James feels about her letting him take the picture, and how I feel <laughs> about being able to scrap it. Uh, let's see. We've got some more of these doodlebug-ish flowers. So I'm just gonna kind of glue them on willy-nilly. Um, a heart that goes with that. Here's another red one. I'm gonna maybe tuck that one underneath right there. Here's a blue one there, just all fun colors. I'm going to kind of do that one there. I have a flare that is blue with lots of fun, colorful flowers. And I thought it might be pretty right there as part of the title. I have a black and white flare that I think would be cool up there with the wow sign. And then I can put something there. I've got one of those doodlebug flowers in pink. So that might work right there. And then I have a red and white striped flare that I'm inclined to want to use here. And I have a couple of doodlebug leaves, so I could maybe have those coming out from under the flare. And then I bet I can find a small flower that can go on the end. And I'm gonna bend these a bit to give a little more definition. It's not a huge, um, Okay, here's a little pink flower. Here's a little blue one with the black center. Uh, kind of an orangey one. These were all, these came in a set that had lots of um, bits that you could layer together. And these are the leftover layers that I did not use when I made my flowers. There were many more layers, especially of the small ones, than I could possibly use. 
And like I said, they came in and mined the scrap kit and I have put all the leftovers of all my previous mine the scrap kits into my, um, you know, this is just not peeling back up into my scrap backwards kit. And that's also the kit I'm using for how to kill a kit with style this month, which I joined for the month of May. I'm not sure if I'll do it in June. I have a lot going on in June. And you know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these small epoxy dots and put it in the middle. I say middle and it ended up not in the middle, but it should be movable. There we go. Okay, so there. And then I'm just gonna add these. If I don't add them just as um, eye candy on a layout, they'll never get used. And they work well as eye candy. Um, and it, it gets me, we're kind of approaching the end of the month and I really would like to get a lot of this um, used. Put that up under and I think that is all I'm seeing. I've got to do something with these dimensional flowers. I need to keep them out of this box because they're getting, um, oh, there's another one. Oh, there are a few more right in there. Oh, this is cute. Here. I, I like, and or, let, let me just say this, I know that this is not to everyone's um, taste, this uh, decorating style, but, and I, kind of use, um, let's see. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to cover up that area in the mixed media. Um, let's see, where do I put this? I'm going to just put it right out here. And I'll put this one up over here. Um, when I have something like this that is clearly meant to be a joyous celebration of life and survival and all of those uh, good things. I use that as an excuse to kind of go overboard, you know, as if I needed an excuse. But it's, this is kind of fun for me. And this is kind of the perfect um, canvas for that. Because there's, uh, there's not a lot of detail in the sketch, so you can kind of add your own detail. And I think I have one more little one here that can go in that triangle. Now, these might some of these are, are uh, propped up on foam. Some of them are not. Um, I do that so that there's a, a variety. Of, when, when you have some flat, the ones that are popped up kind of stand up a little bit more. Um, and I tend in lots of cases, I'll tend to pop, I, I lean towards popping everything up, 
but I have kind of seen the wisdom in leaving some. So I'm going to do this kind of right under the pencil eraser. And I think I'm done. I might like to do some splatters. I think some black splatters would be cute on this, but this is still wet, and if it the black splatter hits, it'll kind of bleed out, and I don't want that. I kind of like the colors as they are. So I'm going to leave it like it is, and I thank you for watching me. Um, I will put, uh, as soon as I get it, I will put a link to Adam's page. He and I are kind of able to lately to get on the same schedule. So I think we'll both have our, our pages ready uh, around the same time. And uh, I'll put my link in, or his link in mine, and I think he's going to put my link in his. And we invite you, all, as always, to try out um, our designs and, and techniques and then pop things in the album. I'm very sorry, as I explained before, that we're not able, no longer able to, to give prizes. There have been some changes in... Uh, uh, some of the business uh, situations and, of course, absolutely awful changes in the uh, postal systems of uh, around the world. So it, it just was too difficult. Since we don't, we're, we're not doing anything in this group for profit, um, <laughs> We were, it was out of our own pockets to, um, to um, provide the prizes, and providing the prizes wasn't a problem. We had uh, Mary uh, Steinmetz had sent a, a whole bunch of beautiful uh, free, you know, like prizes for us to give away, and Adam and I both have rather extensive stashes that we could, um, could use, but it was the postage. It was just outrageous. So we will have, I hope, that we will begin to uh, be able to have some events that, I found another flower, so, that uh, where uh, occasionally, maybe quarterly, you know, three or four times during the year, where we're able to um, give prizes for those. And some of that will um, depend on some some of the changes that uh, are taking place over in the uh, Flare Hut world. And uh, we're hoping to maybe collaborate with, with Lisa in uh, um, her new scrap -a sketch uh, ventures. Let me use the rest of those little dots, if I can find them, those epoxy dots. Uh, I, I can't put my hand, fingers on them right now, but I will hunt for them off camera and I'll add, sprinkle a few of those around here just to get rid of that sheet. So thank you for watching. And uh, Lisa, thank you for the great sketch. And I'm sorry I, I uh, took such liberties with it. Bye.